What's going on everybody, Dwayne here. So today we're gonna to be talking about the EOS R5 and the EOS R6. Now, me personally, I caught two of them, one for me, so I could take and I could shoot at weddings, uh, music videos, stuff like that. And the other one I got for my wife so she could do her makeup videos on Facebook. Now, right now I'm rocking the Canon EOS RP. As you can tell, they pretty much EOS RP and EOS R5 look similar at the top. Uh, in the back, there are some su subtle differences as well, like the stroll wheel, joystick, uh, but pretty much they kind of look similar on the top. And the R5 looks like the EOS R at the top as well. I'm rocking the 100 millimeter macro. Canon has a 85 millimeter F2 macro that they announced today as well, which is kind of crazy because that's the focal length and the depth of field and you know what I'm saying I was looking to get in that too and I have a battery grip on here it's from a company called Uncopolis on Amazon it's like 60 bucks pretty much use this as my everyday camera so yeah I mean it, it's good for what it's worth but at the same time you know what I'm saying I, I'm ready for something else I've been waiting on Canon to come out with something else the things that I look forward to the most in this is Ibis 12 frames per second mechanical, 20 frames per second silent, full HD, 1080p, 120 frames per second, 4K, 60 frames per second, uh, no crop, and none of the recording features, dual UHS-2 slots. I own a lot of the Sony Tough UHS-2 cards, 128 gigs. I think I got like five or six of them. Zebras, and I think I said Ibis already. If I didn't, Ibis, and uh, longer battery life. Now I'm gonna be, it, this camera takes the LP6NH battery and I'm probably gonna cop like three or four of those. I uh, can't wait for DJI to put out a firmware update so I can use it with my Ronin SC. And the camera body alone, I think it weighs like 1.59 pounds with the battery and two card slots uh, populated and the lens cap, I think it's like 1.69 pounds which still, that ain't heavy. Uh, I have the RF 35mm 1.8 and you pair those two together, it's gonna be like magic, you know what I'm saying? This camera is pretty much a baby 1DX Mark III. It's the little brother of the EOS R5. It's missing like some of the features that the R5 has. Uh, the EVF is a little bit lower resolution than the EOS R5, but still, it's worth it. In my personal opinion, I feel like that's gonna be the camera to grab, and I feel like that's the one that a lot of people gonna flock to uh, because that that's what they can afford. But at the same time, if you really can't afford a EOS R6 or EOS R5, go and grab an EOS RP. It ain't number like a thousand dollars, $9.99, and you could probably catch it for like $8.99, depending on which retailer is selling it, like Adorama, or B&H, or one of those or go and cop a EOS R. Depending on like what holiday roll around, you can cop that for like $14.99, something like that. That's neither here nor there. We talking about the EOS R6. Like I said, those are my main uh, reasons for getting it. And it's crazy that this camera has a uh, 10-bit 422 and Canon log. And I've been waiting for Canon to come out with something like this for a while. This is the one reason why I did not go and get a Sony a7 III just because I was waiting to see what Canon was gonna do and I knew they was gonna do something and they was listening to us, you know what I'm saying? So by them listening to us, that lets you know that they paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Like I got friends that's waiting on the, I think it's the a7S II or uh, not a7S II, the a7S III or a7S IV, whichever one of them Sony cameras it is. I don't know, man. I don't keep up with Sony like that, but yeah, I mean, that's all I got for you guys, dog. And all honesty, that's my take on it. And I'm like I said, I'm getting a Canon EOS R6. Now, I did say something about the price in a past video. You can, one of these sides, a little card will pop up, and you can go check that video out. I said it was going to be about $2,500. And I mean, it's a dollar under $2,500. And after taxes uh, here in the US, it's going to be like, 20, almost like $2,600, something like that, uh, $2,700. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get it, and I feel like a lot of y'all should, if you can afford it, 
go get it. And it's, it's gonna be real good, especially for like weddings, dog. I do a lot of weddings, and this thing back here, it get the job done, the EOSRP, it get the job done, but like, I think it it, it, do, it doesn't shoot as fast. It, it it's, it's just slow. I can't wait to get this camera. Like I said, I already pre-ordered it, pre-ordered two of them, and they shipping out in August. Oh, and it also has a battery grip. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a BG, BGR10, I think it is. And that battery grip is backwards compatible with, or forwards compatible. It's the same one between the US R5 and the US R6. But that's all I got for you guys today. I feel like this is gonna be the camera to buy in 2020. Like straight up, no lie. It really is, and I've already seen like one of my one of one of my favorite YouTubers that do uh, music videos. He's selling his 1DX Mark II and his Canon EOS R. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. With that being said, guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I catch you in the next one. Peace.